Hey folks, it's Italian Woodward, Fish Hounds Guide Service. Uh, I'm here with Logan Ferguson and his dad, Chris Ferguson. Logan's actually fixing to be my son-in-law, so uh, we're, we're today building brush piles. We're going to do a little how-to. It's going to be a few-part video where uh, we're going to show you what we're using, how we're putting them together, uh, and then we'll continue this to go out and look for the spots, show you what we're looking for on our graphs uh, to where we're wanting to drop these and go through the whole process, basically building, uh, gathering the supplies, building them, locating the spots to put them and dropping them. And so we're just gonna do a little quick one today about uh, what we're doing. Like right now, we're using a tape measure. We, we know we're gonna drop these in a, about 20 foot of water. Uh, so we want the top of our brush to be you know, around 10 foot under the surface of the water. And hopefully that's gonna kind of hold the crappie just right on top of the brush. So that's what we're focusing on is 20 foot depth brush piles. We're gonna cut our, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut our bamboo. Uh, we lay out a tape measure. <clears throat> Logan's just kind of dragging the tips of them to that. It's a pretty simple process. <clears throat> He'll take off the bottom limbs uh, to where they'll basically they'll go down into our cinder blocks like Chris is doing a little better. If you don't get them lower limbs off, it kind of crowds your block a little bit and it makes it hard to get your concrete and everything in. And like Logan just done, he kind of shoved it into the ground. That's just going to help hold that thing in place uh, until we kind of get this thing put together, get our concrete in it. So we already got a couple here. Uh, right here, that one doesn't have concrete, but it's kind of assembled, put together. Uh, and then we'll we'll pour the concrete into them and then uh, let them set overnight. Most important thing is have some good hard workers. As long as you got that, you can just stand back and run a video camera. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then basically, I'm gonna have Chris, he'll hold the camera. It's pretty simple, or Logan, come here and hold this. What we're gonna do is just a pretty simple thing. We've already got a little concrete dumped into this one. Uh, actually, this is Logan's way. Mine is I mixed the concrete, uh, which takes a lot more time. Uh, Logan's been doing them like this, where he dumps. I've got just some powdered concrete poured in the bottom of the block. I'm going to add a little water to it, and uh, he, he says these are holding together pretty good for him, so I'm going to go ahead and it saves us a little time and do that same process. All right, so we got a little water, then we're going to go ahead and top it off with a little bit more concrete. kind of packed in there good uh, that way it'll kind of bond and hold all them stalks in there together so they ain't slipping out on you when you're trying to get them out there and drop them all right so now basically we're gonna let that set overnight and then uh Tomorrow we'll go through how we're going to find our spots and and haul these out and go ahead and sink them. And a couple other little steps we got to do. And we'll put that on the, the end of the video. All right, folks. Uh, we've been how long? We've been at it about two hours. Not even that. Hour and a half. Been at it an hour and a half. Logan and Chris went this morning and uh, went ahead and cut all our bamboo. They had a whole trailer full of, of stalks. Brought them in on that trailer there. So. But anyway, we got like uh, eight or nine already built. Um, what we've done is you, it's best to build them somewhere that you have something to, to tie them up to, especially right here. We're right on the edge of the lake. We got a lot of wind coming in. So uh, if we didn't do that, they would all fall over before this concrete set on us. So we've just got them tied to, to the trees and everything right here in this general area. You can do a couple around each tree and uh, got them tied up, got the concrete in them. 
uh, packed it all in good and tight. So now we're just gonna wait till uh, tomorrow. The concrete will be set and uh, we'll come and we'll lay them over, tie a few swimming noodles, uh, zip tie a few swimming noodles in the top and, and uh, go and then we'll show you how we're gonna find our spots on the map and exactly where we're wanting to drop them and go through that process we. So anyway, we'll be back to you tomorrow and finish this little video out. All right, folks, it's uh, the next morning. Um, we've let this concrete only set overnight. So now we're basically laying them down. Uh, we're gonna tie uh, about four 10, 12 inch swimming noodles in the tops of each one. Uh, a lot of people use jugs, um, different, all kinds of things, crab net floaters. I've heard everybody using everything. I got all these swimming noodles on a real good deal uh, after summer last year. Uh, got them for little or nothing at Dollar Store, so I stocked up. They work great. So, uh, we got to find our zip ties. Logan lost the zip ties. But what we're going to do is take zip ties. This is actually an idea I got off uh, another guy's YouTube page, a channel that does a lot of brush piles. I used to tie them with nylon and uh, it took quite a bit more time to sit there and try to tie them to the, the nylon to the noodle and then the nylon to the, the brush. And so it took a lot more time. This guy had a brilliant idea of uh, zip ties and sometimes you wonder why you didn't think of something that smart. So anyway, that's what we're doing now. Uh, it's a great idea and it works awesome. It's real quick and easy. Zip ties are fairly inexpensive when you buy them by a package of a hundred. So, so he's just going to pick a few random tops of these, uh, this cane and, and zip tie about four swimming noodles and that should basically keep us standing upright. One thing we got an issue of today is, you know, they didn't really call for this kind of wind. As you can see, we're right on the water and we got probably 20 mile an hour gust. Um, this may go to crap on us. We may have to actually drop some of this brush in places that we really wasn't gonna drop it. Um, be, we do have some spots we need some fresh brush. We're gonna use this for new spots. Uh, but the new spots are more out in the lake. We've got some spots that are back in some pockets and coves that'll get us out of this wind. So that may be what we have to do uh, to get rid of this today. Uh, we really don't want all these leaves to, to completely dry up. You know, you want to try to keep them on there as long as possible. Um, so anyway, we're going to see what we can do with it. It's pretty tough though. Chris is unsure. You see his concern look on his face. <laughs> Logan, he's too young. He don't give a crap about nothing. He, go with the wind. Go with the wind. So anyway, that's what we do. Now we've already got Logan's little aluminum boat loaded with two, uh, two of them. We got another aluminum boat right there. We're gonna put two more on, uh, and then I'm gonna take my pontoon with all the electronics so that we can see exactly where we're dropping them, and. Uh, uh, then be able to mark them on our, our electronics as soon as we drop them and we'll have them marked. So we're going to give this a try and we'll turn the camera back on when it gets exciting. All right, folks, we're heading out. we got Logan and Chris behind me. we got four drops of brush total, two on each boat. So uh, we're going to go see if we can find some spots to put them out of this wind. It's pretty pretty tough so just a word of advice don't trust the weatherman uh, make sure you the day before the day after the, the next day after you build your brush uh, you want to make sure that you for sure are gonna have calm winds because it, it does make this a whole lot tougher but we've already got these built uh, the weatherman underestimated the wind as usual so we're gonna go ahead and, and find some spots to put them, rebrush some spots that are in some pockets that uh, 
that uh, I had I brushed up last year and produced fish for us. So they definitely could use a little freshening up this year. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so what we're doing here is uh, we, we're going to drop one right here on this point, right at the very end of this point. Uh, I've dropped a marker where I want it. And so now Logan's going to come up with his boat and, and drop, uh, drop one pile of brush on that marker. It's a lot tougher in this kind of wind. It's, uh, but he's got it. He's got it going on pretty good. He's putting it right on the money. Should go on down. Sunk like a champ. Yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna go ease up on it, get it on my graph right here, and uh, go ahead and put a mark on it on my on my map and then we'll have it all right there it is right there just pretty as it can be so i'm gonna hit mark mark my waypoint my unit kind of tripped out there for a minute i don't know what happened to this thing but here we go there it is right there just pretty as it can be good looking bamboo brush pile right there so I've got it marked, saved, uh, so now uh, we can come back and find it. There it goes, right there. So now I'm going to uh, uh, go back, pull up our buoy, and, and do it again. Good job. Okay, we just dropped another one right, but that's my old brush. There's the new brush he just dropped. That's last year's brush. So anyway, yeah, now we got... Uh, uh, some old brush with new brush in there. There's actually some fish on that old brush right now So yeah, it's looking good looking real good. I don't have to mark this one because it's it's already a pre-existing brush pile We just adding to it is all we did. So good deal. Okay. We've got this little bit of brush that's passing by now uh, That I've just marked I just dropped a buoy on it back there and now Logan's gonna come up and uh this is another spot that we're just going to freshen up. Oh, uh, it's already got quite a bit of brush that we've been dropping on it over the last couple years. So we're just going to add one more to it, put a little green in there with it this year and should rejuvenate it. And Logan put it on the money. Sinking, sinking nice. So now I'm gonna back up and and repeat what I've been doing. Just try to find it on my, make sure it looks good. I don't have to mark this one. I've already got, this is an old mark, 094. I've already got it marked, so. That's a new one on this right there. Good pretty one, look how pretty that is. Looks like that'll hold some fish. So I got some of my old laying down brush. I, here comes maybe, I got more there. It's just not showing it. There's quite a bit of brush in this little area here. All right, so we got another mark now. What we're doing, we're dropping a new one right off the end of this point right here. Um, so I basically found the very end of the point and uh, got, a, got a buoy marker. Now Chris is dropping it right on the money. So that literally should be right on the end of that underwater point. I mean, you can kind of see that it's a point coming off the bank right here. So it points out. It's almost close to that boat channel. You see the boat channel there, but I think uh, we're, we're out of it enough. We'll be able to fish it. This is a spot I've been wanting to put brush for a while. So uh, we're going to give this one a try. All right, so I'm gonna back up to it and see if uh, we can find it again. But it should be right, right on that point. Let me show you here. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it should be right there on that point, that underwater point out. And then you, you got the creek channel here close too. There's your main Sam Creek right there. So. There it is, right there on the screen, just pretty as it can be. Right right on that point. So now I'm on mark, waypoint saved. 
and yeah, as you can see, I'm right, right on that very drop, on the money. That ought to hold some fish. Okay, what I've done, I've got this marked right here. I got a buoy dropped right on the end of that point. And now Logan's gonna try to make his way up to it and drop it. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, try to get on top of them and mark them. See if I can find them on my down scan here. There it is, right there. It's coming up. So we're going to hit mark. Alright, we just saved it. And I got another one. He dropped the other one on the other side of the buoy. It's just probably about 15 foot from that one. So, uh, we're not going to mark both of them. We'll be able to find them on live scope once we get there. But look, we already got a natural kind of structure right there. So that looks pretty good. So we're right off into that point. The other one's going to be a little more closer up to the edge of that drop right there. So that's a good thing. We got two different depths working on this spot. Alright, so we got one on this point here. And now we're going to drop another one on this point here. And that's what you're looking for is, see, notice how we got 12 and 13 foot of water. And this thing drops out into 20 foot of water uh, real fast. Within 20 foot right there, it goes to 20 foot of water. right there I've already marked it uh, I'm a little bit off so I'm gonna remark all right but that looks really good nice looking brush pile got a bit of a natural lay down right there beside it as well oh uh, we finally got done uh, Chris and Logan's trying to make their way back. There are any small boats in this uh, rough lakes working on them. So uh, we're going to call it quits. But I just want to show you kind of what our game plan here was and, and what we're targeting uh, when we're putting these brush piles out. And basically, if you see here on the screen, what I've got is this is a, a shallow ridge runs out. It's got a couple of different points that uh, kind of point out. They drop off real fast from, say, right here at 11 foot there and 13 foot there. They fall out to about 22 foot within just a short piece there. And, you know, it's not a guarantee that, uh, that all of these are going to produce. You know, you've got to drop a lot of brush to, um, to get, you know, uh, in my theory, you've got to drop at least 10 to get two good ones. Uh, a lot of them just were never produced. So that's why we're just dropping typically one, uh, one brush pot per spot just to sample these. And then when they if fish get on them, it seems like they like that spot, then we'll go back and, and freshen them up and add more to them. Uh, but you don't want to go around and, and waste uh, a lot of your brush whatever reason the fish never like it so uh, that's why we just uh, when we're doing these uh, find a new spot runs we're literally gonna drop typically one in a spot and then we'll go back and start checking them fish get on them good we'll add to them but this is the kind of stuff that we're targeting right here is you got a high uh, underwater uh, ridge here runs out it's got two different points as, as you can see We've got we've got the marks right on the end of these points where we drop brush piles just now, and so that's uh, we're, that's perfect prime spots for uh, targeting crappie. And, and what's going to happen is these fish are going to run these edges of these drops, and they'll find these brush piles and hold up on them. So also just for instance, right here in the bend of this creek, 
that's a creek channel right there and the bend of that creek right there on that point is another great spot to, to try and put one so uh, that's what we're doing and uh, we'll come back and check these in a few days and and keep our eyes on them and if ones that start getting fish on them then we will uh come back and and uh and add more brush to them build them up a little bit bigger so anyway i uh, appreciate your time i hope uh, we might have helped you a little bit in this video um, i hope it was informative to you and if you got any comments or questions uh, about anything that we're doing uh, please uh, go ahead and just uh, send me a message and uh, while you're at it if you'd reach down and hit the subscribe and the little bell down there uh, that way you'll get notified when i've got videos coming out we're going to be doing a lot more and uh, try to bring you as much as we can so i certainly appreciate your time and uh, and definitely thank you for watching our our videos and uh, we'll see you on the next run thank you